Hello everyone, I'm Minghao. I'm going to present our work Dapter, which is a data abuse prevention approach for deep learning inference services. This is a joint work of Nanjing University and Cornell University. Deep learning inference service lately gains a lot of popularity among mobile end users. It has achieved great success in many fields, such as medical diagnosis, virtual agents, processes automation, cyber defense, self-driving and marketing automation. Deep learning inference services delivers the AI's power to resource limited devices by offloading expensive computations to the cloud. Leading web service providers such as Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Face++ have achieved great business successes with the deep learning inference services launched for their customers. A deep learning inference service provider submits their data via a mobile app to the corresponding cloud backend and received the inference results back in real time. However, a unique issue has been raised with the rapid development of deep learning inference service. In the context of deep learning, real world data are always precious assets because they are the key ingredient in training new DL models. So greedy web service providers may collect and exploit the inputs of their deep learning inference services, which are excellent sources of real world data to train new models under the table. Data abuse is about the right of data owners. End users have been worried about this issue of data abuse, whether their inputs will be still exploited to train other models unrelated to a deep learning inference service they subscribe. Subscribers want their data to be only used in their paid service and for their best interests. More concretely, they feel taken advantage of if their data may be secretly utilized in training new deep learning inference service models. Meanwhile, an honest web service provider is also willing to demonstrate that their deep learning inference services are free of data abuse risks. We want to help the honest provider to achieve their goal. The security goal is to greatly reduce the possibility that the data sent by users are able to be labeled. It consists of three sub-goals. Data should not be visually recognizable. Data should only retain features necessary to, sub to the subscribed deep learning inference service. And the security applied on data cannot be reversed. Moreover, the provider is sensitive to deployment cost and the convenience of adopting our solution. Therefore, besides security, we want to achieve three sub goals of high usability. Good inference accuracy is maintained for deep learning inference service. There is no change in the backend, including the model in the architecture, and the execution time on mobile devices is suitable for online services. Our work aims to make a good security and usability balance in this scenario. We would like to introduce our data abuse prevention solution, Dapter, that can meet our design requirements above. Our solution can run on the mobile devices as part of the deep learning inference service app. Before data uploaded to the, to the provider, they are processed by adapter so that only necessary information is retained, that is eliminating the chance of data abuse as the provider said. This is a typical deep learning inference service use case. The users upload an image to enjoy the deep learning inference service inference. The uploaded image faces the data abuse risk. For example, it can be used to train a new deep learning inference service model. Adapter-enabled deep learning inference service are shown on the right. We can deploy the lightweight deep learning inference service input converter adapter at the end user side. Adapter can convert the user image into an abuse prevented version. The inference accuracy of the unmodified deep learning inference service on the protected image is the same as that on the original image. So now let's go into the details. Adapter is a user side entropy reduction approach to prune information not relevant to the target deep learning inference service in user data. The workflow is shown below. First, the honest deep learning inference service provider can use the existing deep learning inference service model and its corresponding data set to train adapter. The train adapter for its targeted deep learning inference service together with the necessary running code 
both in source and executable formats at the user side, is released to the public. Then, for, for example, in the public accessible repository, all parts of this release are free to be inspected, verified, tested, and assessed by any party, such as the White Hats, NGOs, app stores, and other law enforcement authorities. Then a user can trust, download, and install the adapter released for their subscribed deep learning inference service. Adapter can convert images in a way totally compatible with the original input and the quality of service needs of a targeted deep learning inference service. In the meanwhile, converted images can hardly be labeled and exploited at, uh, to train new deep learning inference service models. The converted images can meet all security requirements. And whether a subscriber deploys adapter or not has no influence on other subscribers and the corresponding cloud backend. Adapter brings small overhead to the user side performance and don't hurt the deep learning from the service accuracy. The adapter's key design consists of a lightweight generative model and a novel data abuse prevention loss. The training structure is introduced here. So please know that the targeted deep learning inference service has, been, has already been trained by the provider beforehand, and it is fixed during the training of adapter. The entropy reduction loss, L-eta, is proposed to measure the entropy residual in the converted image. Minimizing L-eta is able to reduce the abusable information available to the backend. Moreover, the converted image is also evaluated in terms of the inference accuracy of the targeted deep learning inference service model. Thus, we introduce the inference accuracy loss, L-accuracy. These two loss functions are applied in, a, in an adversarial manner to, and together form our new loss function called the data abuse prevention loss, which is given here. Represent the architecture of the adapter's converter below. The converter adopts a symmetrical architecture with the down sampling and up sampling modules. This symmetry ensures that the outputs of adapter are the same size and format as the input so that there is no change in the targeted deep learning for service model. We use a copy connection to forward the output features of the third layer and concatenate them with the input features of the eighth layer. This feature fusion through this shortcut can help the actor to well capture the high level semantic information and low level spatial information of the input data, which is important to the information reduction. Our key insight is that by minimizing the, pic the pace of pixel OS entropy that contributes little to the high level features needed by the subscribe deep learning for the service, we can, provide, we can prevent the data from being abused. L accuracy measures the inference accuracy of the targeted deep learning inference service, while L eta measures the pixel OS entropy in the input data. However, such pixel-wise entropy calculation is not a trainable metric in terms of the loss function design of deep learning. Such calculation is a counting process, which is discrete. It cannot be optimized by the backpropagation procedure of deep learning, which computes gradient descents. We found that by enlarging the occurrence probability of a specific pixel value, the upper bound of an image's pixel value entropy can be reduced. Therefore, we propose a deep learning oriented alternative to replace the, in the image entropy metric as the training loss. Minimizing our loss, that is L eta, is equivalent to minimizing the image entropy. The hyperparameter lambda is used to balance the security and the usability of the upper converter. A larger lambda can let the converter try to remove more pixels when performing the prevention. However, a large lambda may also cause too much information being removed from the input and impair 
its usability, that is, the accuracy of the targeted task. We explore how Lambda affects the deep learning inference accuracy and entropy by performing comprehensive experiments. Our brief conclusion is that Lambda equaling 0.9 is a sweet point to balance security and usability. We also propose a detailed lambda chosen method in our paper for practical use. We analyze the effectiveness of that term via the silency map. The silency map is a visualized map in which pixels of an image that are highly relevant to the inference accuracy of a targeted deep learning model is highlighted. So here we show that the data converter can remove the information unrelated to the targeted deep learning inference service task and then retain the useful information. We perform the sentencing analysis on the vanilla deep learning inference service and the data enabled deep learning inference service. We can see that the sentencing map generated by the before and after protection have high similarity, that is, Depth's protection procedure doesn't change the operation logic of the deep learning module of the targeted deep learning inference service. And the module attention is consistent before and after the protection. We also mimic the adversary who wants to label the data and train a new deep learning inference service model by using state-of-the-art secondary deep learning models to label sector converted images. Here we discuss two cases. In the first case, the secondary tasks have no correlation with the targeted task. While in the second case, the secondary tasks have correlation with the targeted task. Experiments show that in both cases, Dapter can achieve good protection result. As an advanced approach, the adversary can also first reconstruct the original image from the abuse prevented one and then label them manually or automatically. The reconstruction is performed by a generative module trained against the adapter. Here we show the reconstruction result protected by a different adapter converter. The average similarity index between the original images and the reconstructed ones is less than 0.2, indicating that the attacks are failed. To further verify these results, we also asked we also asked five volunteers to perform a peering task. Each person is asked to label 100 reconstructed images with attributes that are not related to the targeted task. In the end, there is no successful case of labeling. We also evaluate the depth usability in terms of the backend throughput, bandwidth usage, and latency overhead. Here, our results show that Dapter is very efficient. Please recall that there is no deep learning inference backend change at all. Now let's summarize our work. We first investigate the data abuse issue in deep learning inference scenario. We then propose Dapter, a user-set entropy reduction approach to prevent data abuse. Our protection achieves a good security and usability balance. Thank you so much for your attention. We, we welcome any question during the question and Q&A section.